You've heard me talk about it already this year. A lot of cocktail beers coming around this year uh, and a lot with a little bit of a tiki uh, influence. And this one is exactly that. It's a cocktail beer and it is a tiki cocktail. It's a fantastic cucumber cocktail that uh, um, has been a, a favorite libation of mine at several tiki bars over the last couple years. Um, but Aku Aku is essentially a cucumber rum cocktail using uh, pineapple and peaches, uh, lime zest and mint. Um, and I think that one of the things that you'll, you'll see happening this year uh, in particular is a lot of cocktail beers, a lot of tiki cocktail beers, and then a lot of use of mint, believe it or not. We've had a, a handful of beers this year that have used mint. You know, probably the most mint forward beer being the, the Thin Mint Girl Scout Cookie Beer or GSC beer. Probably one of the not so heavy-handed, i.e. subtle uses has been the, the seahorse from uh, from Cheru earlier in the year. But this is another one of those beers that uses mint and uses it, um, you know, really, really well. I think the, the biggest thing about this beer in particular is the aromatic structure. It is just an absolute uh, monster when it, when it comes to like jumping out of the glass at you. And it, and it smells like a tiki drink. It smells like it has all the accoutrement that a, a tiki drink would have. It has robust aromatics. And it's absolutely like, I mean, this whole time I'm talking about the aromatics, I haven't even once thought about taking a sip of it. It, it, is, it is that powerful. And this is a full bodied beer. It's got full rum expression. There's lots of fruit there. It's hard to really tell uh, whether it's like a stone fruity thing or whether it's a, a, a tropical fruity thing. But that's just kind of that mix of pineapple and peach kind of equally that one doesn't really outshine the other. Um, it has that, not, not a pickly taste at all, but it has that cucumber coolness, if you will, uh, to it. And then I think that the, the spicing is just, it's right there, that lime zest is, you know, it's, it's not playing to the sour, to the sourness or the acidity level of the beer. It's really playing to the herbal notes and the mint is used, um, very, very well. So I, I think that this is quite possibly one of the most complex and probably one of the most well executed beers that you might see out of Taru this year. I mean, it's really a fantastic beer.